good morning. It's a uh, day, I don't even know. I know it's Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday. Yep, it's Wednesday. Um, we did not really shoot any video at all yesterday because we didn't run any trails. Um, I had issues with the um, one of my um, front wheel hubs on my Jeep, so managed to find one in Gunnison and changed it out in the Walmart parking lot. Um, and then we have a little bit of an issue with the um, one of the trailer axles, so we chose to take highway to Ure instead of running Engineer Pass into Ure, um, just to just to be safe. Um, but it it's doing fine. So I've had several people check it out, and they said, "No, you're fine." Tire wear will be a little bit faster, but that's about it. So that's good. Um, we are at Ironed just uh, about seven miles south of your ray and got here at a decent hour yesterday set up camp um, had dinner it's it, it was a nice relaxing day in the midst of just uh, all the trails so it was a welcome break today we are headed to black bear pass and imogene and then not sure if we'll run our trail after that or not uh, it just kind of depends on time we've got some of our group that's breaking off this evening and running and heading to Moab for the rest of the trip. And we, because of the trailer axle, have just decided to stay put. Um, gonna stay here in Ure for a couple more days, run some other trails that we've actually never ran before. Um, and that's our plan, just to relax and chill and enjoy the Ure area. We are officially heading up Black Bear Pass. We've had a little bit of an issue with the road being closed, a road close sign being uh, blocking the trail, but uh, it was supposed to be open, so someone found cell signal and called them. And they said, yeah, it's open. We just forgot to move the barricade. So <laughs> anyway, we are on Black Bear Pass. We actually have nine in our group now because um, Matt Bleakley uh, was staying at Telluride and he messaged me and said, asked if he could join us today. So picked up one. So here we go. For what is probably the most famous and iconic off-road trail in Colorado, there's actually very little history to be found about Black Bear Pass. In the 1800s, a wagon road existed from Red Mountain Pass to Ingram Basin to haul ore from the Black Bear Mine. But by the 1900s, it had fallen into disuse due to the railroad in Telluride in 1890. Thanks to the Telluride Jeep Club, Black Bear Pass was open to traffic once again in 1959. I said, hey. The first half of Black Bear Pass is very easy with no real obstacles. It's just a really beautiful trail. Ain't no worries. But I don't Ain't know if no they uh, cut off to, to the gulch or came up this way. Don't you worry about a thing. Don't you worry. Cause it's long as we're together. Windy. 
It is quite beautiful. This is the part where black bear gets interesting. It's not that technical, but it is very intimidating. And being off camber with a steep ravine right next to you can be unnerving. A stock high clearance four wheel drive vehicle can handle black bear just fine, but being an experienced driver definitely helps here. It's very easy to get distracted by the ledges and amazing views and make a mistake. And a mistake here can have serious consequences. Start turning in.
about to drop in your front. Here comes your back. Lean a little more. Now turn this way. There you go. Coming down. Good job. Coming down. Good job. Now turn into it. Turn into it. Yeah. Tip it toward me. There you go. Now turn toward me. Turn into it. There you go. Straighten up. Right there. You got it. You got it. Oh. Now turn into it. Turn toward me. Hey, turn toward me. Keep coming. There you go. About to drop. Very good. Rear's coming down. Very nice. Coming down. You didn't die. So what scared your mom more, this or Schofield? Probably Schofield. That's awesome. That's pretty awesome. Now, back up into that slot. Wait, go straight back at first. Right there. Go straight back. 
One more. Now cut driver. There you go. You're clear. You got plenty of room. Plenty of room. Like three feet. You're clear. Pull right in there. Turn. Keep going, keep going, keep going. All right. Now back, start turning driver. Turn hard driver. Hard driver. Hard driver. All right, come forward. Keep going, keep going. Back up. You're fine. Back up. Back up. Back up. Turn driver. There you go. You got it. One more. There you go. No more. Right there. Stop. I can see him on that side. Back up? Yeah. Straight? Yeah. Uh, you can go ahead and turn driver. You're fine. Yeah, you're absolutely fine. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep one more. All right. Now, hard passenger. Tons of room. Huh? Tons of room. Um, you're a little tight over there. I just back it up. You're gonna drag. Your, you're gonna go up on your rock rail. What? Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. All right. Hang on. All right, straighten up a little bit. Come around that, there you go. Now go. Come straight, you're fine. You got lost of room over here. You got, uh, keep going, keep going. Now turn. Oh yeah, you're clear. Hang on. Keep going. We got you. Oh yeah, you got it. You got it. Good, good, good. Good. There you go. Turn hard driver. Yeah. 
There you go. You're good. You're doing good. All right, right there, back up a little bit more. That's enough. You got it. Right in there. Whoa, stop. Don't go too, don't turn too hard. You're gonna hit that rock. Straight up a little bit. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. Now turn. Keep going. Come on, three, two, one gears. A lot of room. Keep going. Sure. Yes. Nathan only accidentally hit one tire over. You're good. Bridalville Falls is 365 feet and is the highest waterfall in Colorado. The house at the top is actually a hydroelectric plant built in 1907 to power a nearby mine. Today it is still used to generate electricity and provides about 25% of Telluride's electricity demand. Imogene Pass was built in 1890 for access to Ure from Tomboy Mine. It is named for Imogene Richardson, one of the wives of the Camp Bird Mine Partners, and is the second highest vehicular mountain pass in Colorado. The route was reopened as a four-wheel drive road in 1966 with the help of various off-road clubs.
Tomboy was once a mining camp with as many as 900 people situated about 3,000 feet above Telluride to support the Tomboy mine and contained a school, store, stable, the miners' cabins, and a club that held dances for the Tomboy residents as well as people from Telluride and surrounding mines. The Tomboy mine started producing quantities of gold ore in 1894 and a daily stagecoach ran across the shelf road carrying mail and passengers. The Tomboy mine was one of the top three producers in the Telluride district. The mine was closed in 1928, and the camp was abandoned. Right after the mine, you have a few options for easier, more challenging lines. Naturally, some of us chose the more challenging options. The top of Imogene Pass was pretty crowded this day, so we moved on and went to another spot that's slightly higher in elevation and honestly I think has better views of the Red Mountains. The Ure side of Imogene is quite different than the Telluride side. It's a little more rocky and has several stream crossings and some nice waterfalls along the way. It's pretty easy all the way to Ure. Hey buddy. What you doing there? Snacking? Well, have a good night. <laughs> 